Queda. Queda. Yeah. How do you like this? <laughs> well, I like this. You like being here? Yeah. Again. Again and then again and then again and again. Yeah, like again. Yeah. Different eruption. Very different. Yeah. But now <clears throat> I find this really small. <laughs> yeah, but they say it's uh, five to ten times bigger. Yeah. And, uh, well, we still have yet to find the photogenic side of this eruption. Now I think we are getting used to this in Iceland. So <laughs> maybe we're getting too used to. <laughs> yeah, eruptions. too used to this. Yeah. But this is awesome. And it's looking good. It's great. Yeah. You see, it, wow. it's, this is a long eruption. Yeah. Quite different than the other one. It's always nice to go and see this yeah. view. We are going to send the drone up and uh, see what it sees. And maybe it's going to see some angles of this eruption that we don't see from here. But uh, the eruption just started and, uh, well, actually yesterday. And it's said to be five to 10 times bigger than the other one. Actually, it's the same one. It just took a pause and today it's called Faradalsfjalls, Faradals, Faradalsfjalls Eldar. Faradalsfjalls Eldar. Yeah. 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 You see, I have to practice <laughs> Faradalsfjalls Eldar. Faradalsfjalls Eldar. It's like Kröplu Eldar in the 80s. Quite difficult for people. It's a little bit like AFL. To like say this, but, uh, but still. If they are not Icelandic. I, I, it's a beautiful name, Faradalsfjalls. Yeah. It is. It is? Elta. Very beautiful. Uh, it's referring to a long period where the eruption lies down and comes back again and again and again. This time it's on. Woohoo! Wait. There's been a different information, a changing information about the, the hike over to the eruption. And uh, we are here now, so we know how it is. It's about two hours. I don't know how many kilometers it is, but we took it very easy, no hurry, stopped a few times to take a photos. And uh, it took, I think, exactly two hours, two hours to be here where you saw the eruption. And uh, if you went to the uh, eruption last year, there are no surprises in this hike, except that it's maybe, well, up to one hour longer. If you are going to get here, make sure you have good shoes, yeah. bring uh, warm clothes and dry clothes extra if you, if you ha have, and uh, something to drink. There's no water here and also something to eat. And the first thing we did when we went here, yeah. we went down to the eruption. Uh, down to the lava. It's warm and cozy. Yeah, it's warm and cozy. <laughs> so. so if you're sweaty after the walk, yeah, no problem. But rule number one, stay upwind because there's gases coming from the lava. Yeah. 
and uh, they can be dangerous. But actually, I heard someone say yesterday that the most dangerous thing about eruptions is not being drowned in lava, as terrible as it sounds, <laughs> but it's the hike that kills you maybe. So take it easy How on the hike. How can you say that? Well, <laughs> it's the hike that kills. In the history of Iceland, only one man has died as a direct cause of uh, eruption. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. A long time ago. Uh, 1960 something. Yeah. A long time ago. So, but be careful. Stay safe. Stay safe.